welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Information is power, especially in the digital age. Knowledge about cybersecurity, including how hackers target banking apps, is crucial for protection. This video aims to educate and empower, not to encourage illegal activities. Remember, using cybersecurity techniques for unethical purposes, like hacking into someone else's account, is a crime with serious consequences. This information is for educational purposes only, to help you understand the threats and protect yourself. Let's dive into the world of mobile banking security, exploring common hacking techniques and, most importantly, how to defend against them. The world is going mobile, and banking is no exception. Millions of people use banking apps daily for their convenience. However, this convenience comes with risks. Just like traditional bank robbers, cyber criminals are attracted to places where money flows. They're constantly finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities in banking apps. Understanding these threats is the first step towards protecting yourself. Let's look at some common tactics used by these digital bandits. Imagine receiving an email that looks exactly like it's from your bank. The logo, the email address, everything seems legitimate. It might say there's a problem with your account and urge you to click a link to verify your information. The email might even create a sense of urgency, warning you that your account could be locked if you don't act immediately. That, my friend, could be a phishing attack. These attacks are designed to exploit your trust and fear. Phishing is a common tactic where hackers try to trick you into revealing sensitive information, like your login credentials, by disguising themselves as a trustworthy entity. They create fake login pages that look identical to the real ones. They often use emails, text messages, or even fake websites to lure you into their trap. These messages can appear very convincing, often mimicking the style and tone of legitimate communications. Never click on suspicious links or provide personal information unless you're absolutely sure about the source. Always double-check the sender's email address and look for any signs of phishing, such as spelling errors or unusual requests. Your bank will never ask for your password or PIN via email or text. If you receive such a request, it's a red flag. Always contact your bank directly using a known and trusted method to verify any suspicious communications. Malware is like a digital virus that infects your device often without you even knowing. It can be disguised as a legitimate app, a file download, or even sneak in through a compromised website. Once it's on your device, malware can steal your banking information, spy on your activities, or even lock you out of your own device until you pay a ransom. Always be cautious about the apps you download, especially from unknown sources. Stick to official app stores and check reviews before installing anything new. Section 5. Man in the Middle Attacks intercepting your financial transactions. In this section, we will delve into how these attacks work and what you can do to protect yourself. Imagine sending a letter to a friend, but someone intercepts it, reads its contents, and then delivers it as if nothing happened. This analogy helps us understand the concept of a man in the middle attack in the digital realm. That's a basic idea behind a man in the middle, or mighty M, attack. Hackers position themselves between you and the entity you're communicating with, such as your bank, to intercept and manipulate the data being exchanged. In the digital world, hackers can intercept your communication with the banking app, especially if you're using public Wi-Fi. Public Wi-Fi networks are often unsecured, making it easier for cyber criminals to eavesdrop on your activities. They can steal your login credentials, transaction details, or even redirect your payments to their own accounts. This can lead to significant financial losses and compromise your personal information. Avoid using public Wi-Fi for banking transactions. Instead, use your mobile network or a secure private Wi-Fi connection to ensure your data remains safe. If you must use public Wi-Fi, use a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. A VPN creates a secure tunnel for your data, encrypting it and making it much harder for hackers to intercept. It encrypts your internet traffic and makes it much harder for hackers to intercept. By taking these precautions, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to a man-in-the-middle attack and keep your financial transactions secure. Section 6. Protecting your digital wallet. Essential security tips. In today's digital age, safeguarding your financial information is more crucial than ever. 
We've explored the dark alleys of cybercrime, but don't worry, there's light at the end of the tunnel. With the right knowledge and tools, you can protect yourself from becoming a victim. Here are some practical tips to protect your digital finances. These steps are simple, yet effective in keeping your information secure. 1. Strong passwords and two-factor authentication. These are your first line of defense against unauthorized access. Use unique, strong passwords for all your accounts, especially your banking app. Consider using a password manager to keep track of them. Enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring a unique code from your phone or email in addition to your password. It significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access, even if someone gets hold of your password. 2. Regularly update your app and operating system. These updates are not just for new features but also for security enhancements. Updates often include security patches that fix vulnerabilities hackers could exploit. Ignoring these updates can leave your device exposed. Always keep your banking app and phone's operating system updated to the latest version. This ensures you have the latest protections in place. 3. Be cautious of social engineering. This is a tactic where hackers manipulate individuals into divulging confidential information. Hackers often use social engineering, which is manipulating people into giving up confidential information. They may pose as legitimate entities to gain your trust. Be wary of suspicious emails, phone calls, or text messages asking for your personal or financial information. Always verify the source before sharing any details. By following these essential security tips, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to cybercrime and keep your digital wallet safe. Section 7. Stay vigilant, stay safe. A call to action. In the digital age, knowledge is your best defense. By understanding the methods used by hackers and following these security practices, you can significantly reduce the risk of becoming a victim. Remember, cybersecurity is a shared responsibility. Be vigilant, stay informed, and protect yourself in the ever-evolving landscape of cyber threats. Section 8. Continue your cybersecurity journey. If you found this information helpful and want to dive deeper into the world of cybersecurity and ethical hacking, I invite you to subscribe to Cyber World YT. We regularly share insightful content, tips, and tricks to help you stay ahead of the curve in the digital world. Stay safe, stay informed.